GPUs. It's incredibly efficient. And that enables amazing console level games like Fortnite from Epic to run great for the first time on mobile. But Metal also enables these games to scale to take full advantage of modern Macs. In fact, across iOS and the Mac, there are over one billion Metal enabled devices. And we're constantly making Metal better. To bring the highest GPU performance and reach of all Macs, we've recently added support for external GPUs. And this is powered by Metal. And the results are truly mind boggling. For instance, running a filter in DaVinci Resolve, look at how it scales on the incredibly fast iMac Pro as you add up to four eGPUs. Now, the results are even more staggering when you take a 13-inch MacBook Pro and add eGPUs to it, achieving up to 8.5 times speed up. It's pretty awesome. Now, eGPUs also enable Macs to achieve all new levels of performance and realism in 3D rendering and gaming. Now, this beautiful forest you see here, this isn't a video capture. This is from Unity's new Book of the Dead interactive demo, and it's being rendered live right now on a MacBook with an eGPU powering this display. I mean, doesn't this look amazing? Now, of course, because this is rendered live, uh, we can check what's up ahead. So let's start walking. Now, Unity is using Metal's unified graphics and compute to generate real-time lighting and complex post-processing effects. So cool. And that's all rendered live on a MacBook running with an eGPU. It's pretty great. Now, another place where we're doing incredible acceleration with Metal is in machine learning. And today, ML specialists usually use one of these third-party libraries to train their models using servers. And now it turns out we can accelerate tools like this with our new metal performance shaders. We're seeing speed ups of up to 20 times in using the GPU with metal instead of CPU-based training. And while speeding these tools up is great, we actually think there's a better way for most developers. And that's training on the Mac you already have using a great new tool we call CreateML. Now, CreateML is designed to let you train without being a machine learning expert. You can train vision and natural language models. You can bring your own custom data, and it's really easy to use because it's all built in Swift. And in fact, you can use Xcode Playgrounds to train your model. Just drag one in. Their training set, you can drag in your test set as well. And the training is all GPU accelerated, so it's incredibly fast. Now, as an example, we worked with Memrise. They're a developer who uses the uh, camera to identify objects and speak them in multiple languages. And in the past, they would train their model with 20,000 images, and it would take them 24 hours to do so. Well, now, with CreateML, they can train that same model in 48 minutes on a MacBook Pro. And on an iMac Pro, it's just 18 minutes. And what's even more incredible is that model in the past for them was 90 megabytes, and now it's just three megabytes. It's a huge difference. Now, we also are making models run much faster on device using CoreML2. Now, CoreML is our technology for high-performance on-device machine learning, and now it's better than ever. It's 30% faster in on-device processing using a technique called batch predictions. And you can reduce your model size by up to 75% using quantization. And so that's CoreML and CreateML. You no longer have to be an expert in machine learning to build those techniques into your app. Now, these technologies are redefining what's possible in apps, and they're common not just to Mac OS, but also to iOS. And the fact that the Mac and iOS share so much technology has led people almost every year to keep asking us the question, are you merging iOS and Mac OS? So I'd like to take a moment to briefly 
address this question.